on, off. Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up voice recognition with an Arduino and the Alekhouse Voice Recognition Module V3. Let's start by taking a look at the module. There are several different ways it can communicate with the Arduino, but the manual recommends using the TX and RX pins for full functionality. It does not come with header pins attached, so you will need to solder those on yourself so you can use it with a breadboard. It also comes with a small microphone that you can plug into the microphone jack here. Once you've put it in the breadboard, you have four pins to connect to your Arduino with jumper wires. The ground pin is going to go to the Arduino's ground, the VCC pin is going to go to the Arduino's 5 volts. The RX pin will go to Arduino pin 3. And the TX pin will go to Arduino pin 2. Note that pins 2 and 3 are what's used in the example program that is provided, but you can change these pins in the software later. That is it for the hardware setup. Let's switch over to the computer and look at setting up the software. The first thing you will need to do is head over to their website, you can find that link in the description of this video, and download the Arduino library. Once you've downloaded that zip file, extract it to your Arduino libraries folder on your computer, and you should have a folder called Voice Recognition V3. Once you've installed the library, open the Arduino IDE, then select File, Examples, Voice Recognition V3, VR Sample Train. Once you've opened the program, make sure you have the correct Arduino board and COM port selected, then upload it to your Arduino. After the program has finished uploading, select Tools, Serial Monitor, and make sure the baud rate is set to 115,200. In the Serial Monitor, you will see a list of commands that you can use to control the voice recognition module. To train a voice recognition command, type train, and then a number that will be the index of the command. Note that the module can store up to 80 commands total, but only 7 can be active at one time. See the manual for more details. I am going to type train 0 because the index starts at 0, press enter, and then follow the on-screen prompts to speak the command. It will try to get two matching recordings of the command before finishing. If it has trouble matching the commands, it will prompt you to continue speaking. On. On. Once you have recorded two successful matches of the command, it will say success and that that record is trained. I am now going to do the same thing to train the word off for record one. Off. Off. And just to give an example of what that might look like if you mess up, let's try record two, and I'm going to use the word hello for this one. Hello. 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 So there we go. Don't panic if it doesn't work on the first two tries. It will continue prompting you to speak until it gets a match. After you have trained the commands, type load followed by the indices of the commands that you have trained. So I'm going to do zero space one space two. Press enter. Those commands are now loaded and I can test them. On. Off. Hello. On. So you see that when I speak each command and it is successfully recognized, the serial monitor will print out the index that I have stored that command in. Now let's use those commands to do something. You can use an example program to just control the built-in LED on the Arduino. So again, go to File, Examples, Voice Recognition V3, and select VR Sample Control LED. I am not going to go through this entire program. We are just going to look at two key parts. First, notice how it defines constants related to the indices where you have the records or commands stored. Remember that we have on stored in index 1 and off stored in index 2. If we scroll down to the bottom of the program, we will see there is a switch case statement that uses digital write to turn the LED on or off depending on which record it detects. 
So if we upload this program and switch back over to our Arduino, we should be able to speak the words on and off to control the onboard LED. The Arduino's onboard LED is pretty tiny. Take a look right there and let's test it out. On. Off. On. Off. Now, you will definitely not have a 100% success rate with this, since it is running locally on the Arduino. This is much less powerful than something like a cloud speech-to-text service from Google or Amazon, and it is speaker-dependent. It is trained to recognize the exact sound clip of you speaking that word, so if somebody else comes along and says on or off, it is not going to recognize their voice. The success can also depend heavily on factors like background noise and the distance from the microphone. Let's see what happens if I move a little farther away. On. Off. On. And then if I get closer again, on. Off. On. Off. On. So again, you can see the success rate is not 100%. However, this is still a pretty quick and easy way to get voice recognition working on an Arduino that does not require an internet connection. For written instructions to set this up, and instructions for controlling external hardware like appliances that must plug into a wall outlet, check out the links in the description of this video. On. Off. For thousands of other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.